Bridge, past the Durham Martyrs Parish, um, we have walked to welcoming you as we're opening our doors on Monday the 20th of July. Um, we'll be open Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays um, between 2 and 3 o'clock. We do check the website for where you go just to make sure that we are on and there hasn't been any changes in the schedule. Um, when you arrive you'll see uh, people, if there's a queue, people will be queuing down the pathway. Please do social distance at this time. Um, there'll, be a, there'll be a steward on the door to help um, with the traffic. Using the same entrance in and out, and um, so please do follow the direction of the stewards on the arrows as well. When you first come in, you'll see the hand sanitising station. Please do wash your hands um, uh, with, with your hand sanitizer as you come into the church. Um, and we're also asking people to wear face masks where possible. This can be um, a disposable mask, it can be a homemade mask that you've done at home. Um, it's up to you really, just some sort of face covering um, would be amazing. Uh, so that's wonderful. And then there'll be stewards around to help and direct you as to what's going to happen. Um, you'll see all the directional arrows. Please do follow these as you as you journey around the church. Um, what they'll do is the stewards will look to, as, as to where there's a space and then direct you to a seat. Um, so as you come into the church, I'm sure it's a sore sight for many of you that haven't seen it in a few months' time. Um, so look forward to having you. Um, you'll see that certain pews are not cordoned off and have ticks on them. This, this means that these are pews that can be used for private prayer. So you'll be directed to a pew by a steward, um, so just follow their instructions and follow the directional arrows. And um, you'll notice as well there aren't any prayer resources on them, there's no uh, hymn books or prayer books um, on the pews themselves. Uh, we're asking people to bring their own, um, if you would like to um, pray, you can bring your rosary beads, um, bring your uh, prayer book, uh, bring your bible, um, bring something that you want to pray with. And bring that from home, that would be amazing. Um, you'll see as we go around, as I said, there's still arrows. We've got a one way system around the church to make sure there's no people crossing each other. Um, so, thank you to all our volunteers who've been working really hard cleaning the church and getting it ready for the opening. Um, they've been doing a wonderful job. Please do keep them in your prayers. Um, you'll see we've got candle lighting stations. Um, these will be accessible and open for people to use. Um, we're asking that if people are lighting a candle, um, if they can light a candle from an already lit candle, rather than using a taper, um, just to save cross contamination, that would be fantastic. Um, I'm sure many of you light candles that way anyway, but just in case, um, that would be amazing. So as we follow the arrows around, um, the middle aisle will be off limits, um, just to save cross contamination, so the, the aisles will be available from either side, um, and you'll be able to get the set sitting seats there. We are very lucky, we will be having exposition throughout the time while we're open. Um, so Jesus will be present, which is a wonderful gift that we have. Um, so do join us for, for, for praying and praying to him. So um, it'll be a wonderful, a wonderful time for us all. Um, as you come through, um, you'll see there's more pews. We've got lots of pews available for people at a social distance. Um, so these are these are and will be available to use, um, which is great. Um, We've got one system. If there's any any doors that are closed, that means it's a closed off area. We're not um, opening the sacristy. We're not opening toilets. We're not opening facilities. So what is open is purely the body of the church. And um, please do make please do keep this in mind when you're when you're going to plan to come to ch come to the church. And um, there'll be no facilities available. If anyone falls ill or um, has any problems whilst they're here, um, don't worry. The stewards will be able to help you. Just go to them and they'll be able to um, look after you. Um, but any door that you do need to walk through will already be open, so you shouldn't need to be touching any doors um, on, the, on the way. Um, doors are to the exterior will be open where possible, um, so if it is a chilly day, you might have a cardigan. Um, just make sure that you're warm enough, um, and we follow the directions, and out we go. Um, so it's very simple, all common sense. Um, and we look forward to having you, um, as I say, from, from Monday the 20th of July. Um, do check out our website, there's lots of details on there. Um, there's lots of resources as well if you want to pray, if you need resources to pray at home, do use those. Uh, but otherwise, we look forward to welcoming you with your face mask, um, a cardigan or a jumper if it's cold, and your prayer resources um, from Monday the 20th of July. We look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye.